There's probably been a time where it'd be useful for you or someone you know to maneuver over a fence without using an object to help you get over it, whether it be to save time, you've locked yourself out, or even getting out of a dangerous situation. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the most efficient yet accessible ways to get over a fence. I'll also be listing the difficulty of each method as well as the practicality each one will have. I'll be using a chain link fence for basically all the methods in this video. If you wanna see me using different fences or the best way to get over every kind of fence, leave a comment below. I can definitely make that video up in the future. All right, we're just gonna hop straight on into the video with method one, the gate vault. This is probably going to be the most effective way for those who don't have the jumping power or the upper body strength to pull themselves up. For this one, you're going to be using gravity and leverage in order to get yourself over the fence. This vault is also pretty easy to progress to a fast speed and comfortability. The main points you need to know for learning this vault is start off with both hands on the top of the fence. If it is higher than you, then you can get some momentum or climb to reach this position. Then you will start to go over the fence by flicking your legs backwards. As your legs are coming up, you can then grab the bar below it or push off of the part of the fence that your hand should naturally gravitate towards. It will be about waist level from your starting position. And I would rate this vault about 1 out of 5 on the difficulty scale. Method 2 is going to be the side slash safety vault. I'm going to have a couple different variations just for the more and less experienced. The side vault is something that you've most likely done before. It's an easy movement and it almost comes naturally. This one, you'll start off with both hands on the fence and then jump, plus you can pull yourself up at the same time. Then as you go over, your legs will simply stay off to whichever side you choose and you'll come to your landing. Ideally, you'll want to run into this one to make it as effective as possible. Some situations that may not be practical and you'll also get better with it with practice. The next level of this will be the safety vault. This vault is a more confident cousin to the side vault as they are quite similar. You will want to run up to the fence going to leap over it, but then you place whichever hand you favor down, bringing your opposite leg up at the same time and then placing it on the fence just shortly after placing your hand down. Once both your hand and foot are in place, you bring your other leg through the gap that you've created for it. This one requires more balance, trust, and precision, and that is why it is slightly more difficult than the side vault. For the side vault, I would rate that a 2 out of 5, and for the safety vault, I'd rate that a 3 out of 5 on the difficulty scale. On to method 3, the lazy vault. This is more of a casual vault, but given the right circumstances, it can be the best vault for the situation. It's similar to the side vault, but you just won't be putting your foot down. Approach the fence with your favorite hand ready, then you will jump, put your hand down, and your legs will swing over the side. Then you can place your other hand down to catch and push right after your legs make it over. Normally, this wouldn't be a good vault to get over high fences, but like I said, it just depends on the circumstances, like if the fence is uneven. Or you can simply use this vault to casually impress people. On to method four. This is another one where there'll be two vaults. That's basically a technicality though. The process for the Kong vault is going to be both hands about shoulder span apart, place it on the top of the fence, and then you're gonna pull yourself through and bring your feet through your legs to your landing. Maybe you don't have the upper body strength or the jump. This one combines them so it's a little bit easier. Now for the Kong Vault. It's basically the same, except you're only going to place your hands down before you go to jump. So as you're running up to the vault, you're gonna run up to it, jump, and then your hands should be diving forward into the fence and then your legs should already be coming up and then they're just gonna glide right through your legs like the last one to your landing. This one is good for distance and power because you can get the run up and jump and then you just push straight through your arms for it. Two different variations there. Could depend on who you are or the location you're in, but that's up to you to decide. The last method is going to be the reverse vault. This is one of my favorites because you can use this when you're unsure of a drop on the other side of a fence. You can kind of gauge yourself and slow yourself down. For this one, you're gonna wanna walk up to the fence, put one hand on the fence like you normally would and then the other hand you're going to place on it wrist up and this is just kind of preference whichever hand you choose of course as you do that you're going to be jumping up as well into it use your palm down hand to pull yourself over once again as you're on your way up over the fence you're just going to do a little hand switch and then gently let yourself down to your landing this one definitely can take some practice especially on higher fences or trickier ledges in my case the trickiest one you can have because it's a chain link fence plus the chains are kind of above the rail so that is going to have to wrap up the best ways to get over a fence video these are the variations of vaults that I'll use on the different types of fencing. Like I said too, if you want to see how I get over every different kind of fence, then leave a comment below, leave a like, and I'll make another video dedicated to separate fence maneuvers. Hope everybody did enjoy this video on my channel. I've never done any top fives, these types of videos, I guess, on my channel. That's going to be it for this one. So if you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like, dislike, comment, criticize, share with your friends, or don't. And I might have to see you in the next video.